Hello guys and welcome to my winter project use it up update for February. What a wonderful So this will be the last update in my winter project use it up and I do have a few empties to share with you guys and I have a few things that I have to replace just because I ran out of moisturizers. So I have a couple newbies but I think that they will just end up carrying into the spring project. So I will be starting the spring project in March and I'm excited to kind of change out the fragrances. I'm getting a little sick and tired of them, but I definitely have a few more that I want to finish before I move on to the spring project. So let's go ahead and get started with the empties that I have from the last month. So something I'm really proud of is I finished off both my moisturizers. I finished off the Iced Sugar Plum Body Lotion. So it looks like last time I updated you guys, I was right about here on the package a little less than halfway done and I finished it off. I absolutely loved this scent last month. It's sparkling sugar plums, snowdrop petals, and whipped marshmallows. It was just like a nice, sweet, fruity scent. And it was perfect because I was really sick of winter scents and like super gourmand heavy stuff. So I loved this. It was like the perfect palette cleanser. It was so good. So that's one good thing to come from my sugar plum. The moisturizers in it were really, really good. And then I also finished off Pink Chiffon. I do have like probably one more use left because I did open up the packaging and I have a little bit left at the bottom, but I'm just gonna consider this an empty because I'll probably use it tonight and finish it. But uh, Pink Chiffon is Sparkling Red Pear, Jasmine Petals, Tiari Flower, Vanilla Orchid, and Chiffon Musk. I really like this one. It is like a super soft floral, but it's mostly fruity. It's like 90% fruity, 10% floral. Um, the jasmine is really what I get out of all of the um, different types of florals that you could get in here. I definitely just get jasmine, but it's nice and fruity and it was really nice. Um, like I said, because I was really done with gourmands and this was just a good change of pace. Felt like a great formula. So I really enjoyed Pink Chiffon. I would definitely get it in other um, formulas to try again, but this was the first time trying Pink Chiffon and I was really impressed. And then I also finished my third moisturizer, and this is the Fenty Skin Butter Drop in Warm Cinnamon. And girl, I scraped the bottom of this one. It was so good. I swear it smelled like a snickerdoodle. I am so happy with this one. I wish that I got more, but like I said, I was kind of done with Gourmands after I had finished this one. So it was like perfect timing. And this is a mini, so it didn't take me too long to use up about two months. Um, not really using only this obviously, but yeah, I really loved it. And I hope she comes out with this same scent again next year, or at least something similar because this was so good. And the last thing I finished up is my Tree Hut Cinnamon Dolce Shea Sugar Scrub. As you can see, I have like a little tiny bit left at the bottom. I just have to scrape the sides tonight and finish it, but I'm going to consider it empty because it's basically empty. Like it's it's pretty empty but this one also was a nice snickerdoodle scent i think these two together were so good so i was really liking them and yeah this was a great combo loved this scent from tree hut and super happy about that one okay also you guys will have to let me know what you think of this color on me i did do a color analysis through like chat gpt i saw it on tiktok i'll try to link the tiktok below if i can remember to find it um, and it told me that I'm a deep autumn because I have a neutral, warm undertone skin and dark hair and dark eyes. So it said that like warm browns and rusts were good colors on me. So let me know if you like this color. I think it looks great. I actually already owned a few things in this color because I liked how it looked. So yeah, let me know what you think of a uh, warm autumn. And if you've done your color analysis, let me know down below, um, what you are. So let's move into my snickerdoodle routine. I have some updates for you guys. So I did have Christmas cookies in the mist in here and I did use it a tiny bit in the last month, just literally so small because I actually forgot that it was in my project. And after I did my body care collection, I put it back in the cabinet. <laughs> but like I said, I am over gourmands, so I wasn't gonna use it anyways. So yeah, I only got a little bit of progress on this one. And yeah, I'm just, I'm not gonna continue using it because I am so done with gourmands. And then I have the Jolly Gingerbread Village body lotion, which Ryan is currently using because it has this kind of like Yuletide timber and gingerness to it. I think he really likes it. So he's made a little bit of progress from here to here. I'll probably just leave this in for him even like outside of the project. Um, and he'll continue to use this because he doesn't really complain about what scents he 
he wears and stuff. And then I have the Vanilla Mocha Cream Shower Gel, which I did get a little bit of progress on here. This one is just like a nice, cozy, warm scent. I love it. It's so good for year round, honestly. So I've been just steadily getting through it. And yeah. And then I have the Ariana Grande Mod Vanilla Perfume, which I swear, every time I use it, I'm like, oh, this is the last time I'm gonna use it. And it's still kicking. I don't know how, but it, it is very, very empty. There's like two drops left in here. I don't know how there's any left, but it still keeps spraying. So I'm gonna keep using it till it's done. Hopefully that'll be at the end of this project. Okay, next I have the two ice sugar plums here for you. I have the Fine Fragrance Mist, which I think I cracked the code, you guys. Um, you were right when you said that I should just be using Fine Fragrance Mist as room sprays because this that's what I've been doing with this one. So I've gotten probably the most progress out of all my mists on this one from here to here. And I am at the halfway point. So I feel really confident about this one. What I've been doing is every morning when I make the bed, which is a routine that I always do, every morning, probably after I like brush my teeth and wash my face, I come out, make the bed, and then I get dressed for the day. So after I make the bed, I've been spraying it with this and it's really been getting me some good progress. So I guess that would be habit stacking. Um, if you don't know what that is, it's basically taking a habit that you already do every day and then putting something new on it. So I think I just found like I cracked the code. So Definitely recommend doing that. If you're a person who makes your bed every day, then spray a spray that you love on your bed. And yeah, so been getting through Ice Sugar Plum. I feel pretty good about that. And on the shower gel, I have also gotten a pretty good amount of progress. I think I will try to finish this off, maybe not by the end of the month, but probably bring it into the spring project too, because I really am enjoying this scent. It is so nice. Like it really grew on me. It's just like a nice, soft, sweet, fruity scent and it's really, I'm enjoying it. It's very enjoyable. Something that I haven't really been using is this Pacifica Dream Moon perfume. I honestly sprayed it like maybe two times so I don't have a review for you guys. I haven't really been using it. I don't have any progress on it. So we'll see about uh, next month maybe. And then I am putting in a new body lotion because I don't actually have any more uh, moisturizers in my Project Use It Up. So I have Twilight Woods that I'll be putting in mostly because it's actually pretty liquidy. Um, I picked this up at SAS, I think in the summer of 2023, so last year, but I think the packaging says a one, so it was made in 2021, so it's already nearing on three years old, and you can see whenever I tilt it, yeah, it's pretty liquidy, so I'm definitely going to try to finish this up. It smells great, and I was planning on using it in the spring anyway, so I'm just going to put it in now. It's a wonderful scent. Um, it's one of those notes where it has like a paragraph. It says, Twilight Woods fragrance evokes the enticing warmth and mystery of the woods as daylight fades into night. This hypnotic scent is an intoxicating blend of lush berry, sparkling mandarin, and soft mimosa with a lasting impression of apricot nectar and cypress wood. So a very interesting scent. I'll have to use it a little more to understand it, but it is like a little fruity and a little bit of musk, which I love a musky scent. So it's interesting to see like a fruity musk versus a gourmand musk. So I'll be trying this out and let you guys know, but it'll definitely carry over into the spring just because I don't want it to go bad on me. And next we have my little party scent combo. So we have Life of the Party here, which, oh, oh my gosh. I wish I had this in every scent or every fragrance type because I'm loving this in the shower. I got a ton of progress on it in the last month. This is Pink Citrus, Bubbly Prosecco, Jasmine, and Shimmering Vanilla. It's so fun. It's the perfect champagne scent. It, it's spot on champagne. It's so yummy. I've actually like been loving this. So I'm, I'm killing it with life of the party, life of the party. And then Twinkling Nights, I actually did not use. So I really, I didn't leave the house last month. I'm going to be honest with you. January was a rough month. I didn't do anything. And then February, the first week, we went on a ski trip and I got injured. So I felt even worse about myself. So I have not been leaving the house at all. <laughs> also trying to save money because um, I feel like I'm drowning in student loans. So anyways, um, yeah, I have not been leaving the house. So I have not been using my party scent. So there's that. Um, we're working on it. Don't worry about me. Um, I'm trying to give myself a little bit of grace because I've just kind of been uh, been struggling a little bit. So anyways, beside the point, my Ernie Grande perfume. <laughs> this is Sweet Like Candy. Again, one that I continue to think, oh, this is finally the end of it when I use it. And then it's not. 
like I don't I don't understand there's still more left in this so hopefully I'll finish in the next month we'll see and then I am putting in a new body cream into this little scent combo and this is everlasting magic from this past year's Halloween the notes are Bejewel Berries, Phantom Petals, and Magic Musk. This one actually reminds me of Pink Velvet Cupcake from a few years ago. That was one of my favorite scents of all time. And it's just like a really nice fruity, but with a tiny, honestly, I don't get any floral in this. It's just fruity. It's like fruity vanilla-y. So I'm loving it. Um, definitely happy to put it in because I think this is like the perfect transition into spring with something fruity. So that's fun. And then the last routine that I have to update you guys on is my little mint chocolate routine, which I really haven't been getting progress on because I'm not interested in chocolate and mint chocolate anymore. But uh, my shower gel does have a little bit of progress from here to here. I'm a little annoyed at it and kind of like done. So I'm gonna put it away and put it back into my collection and save it for next winter because I'm just like getting super sick of it. So that's that one. And then my Dove Holiday Treats, I'm also kind of getting sick of it. I'm going to leave it in my shower just to see. Maybe I'll reach for it over the next month because I don't have any more scrubs in my shower right now. So maybe I'll reach for it, but I'm just kind of sick of the peppermint, honestly. So I don't know. I might not finish that one. And then Coconut Mint Drop, I did get a little bit of progress, honestly, like the tiniest bit. I had this in my office and I thought I would spray it a lot more, but I really haven't. Um, I am going to keep it in though because I do love it. And I feel like this like um, musky coconut is gonna be nice to bring me into spring too. So I'm gonna leave it in and also leave it in my um, office and maybe I'll try to spray it every time I sit down at my desk. I feel like that would be a good routine to start. So in the morning when I sit down to get started, uh, when I go you know, refill my water and I sit back down or go to the bathroom and I sit back down, I'll try to kind of reach for it like that and update you guys, see if I can do some more habit stacking. But that's everything for my Project Use It Up update. This will be the last update in winter and then I'll do the finale at the end of the month and our spring intro in March. So let me know down below, are you guys, you know, moved on? Of course you probably are <laughs> moved on to spring scents. If so, let me know what scents down below. And if you've been like shopping the recent collections Bath & Body Works came out with, let me know that too. I really haven't been keeping up because I saw the tropical line is just the same stuff that they come out with every year. So I'm not super interested in that. But anyways, thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.